Hello everyone and welcome to this guide on how to obtain the hand of Nigalimat, or however you pronounce that weird name. This is a mount that anyone can get if you are willing to put in the work. In order to get the hand of Nigalimat, you must have access to the Rift Phase, which is a new phased area in the Ma and Corthia. There are two ways to enter the Rift. The first is with repaired rift keys, Welcome which you can obtain Maha. from the Archivist vendor if you are at tier 4 research or higher. You also have a random chance to get repaired rift keys from Corthia treasures and rares. Once you obtain one, go to one of the open rift portals inside Corthia and use it to enter the rift. You will then have 15 minutes to spend in the rift per rift key. When that timer reaches zero, you are booted out of the rift. With the repair rift keys, you can only enter the rift in the rift portals in Corthia. So it will take you some time to get where you need to go inside the mall. The second way to get into the rift is with collapsing rift stones. And this is the preferred method, although it is harder to get them. As collapsing rift stones can open a portal to the rift anywhere inside the mall. And anyone in the group can take the portal. Be warned though, if the person who drops the rift portal enters the rift, the portal will immediately despawn. So make sure whoever's opening the portal goes in last. You also cannot enter the rift portal while you're in combat. So if you cannot get your hands on any repaired rift keys, you can try and find someone with a collapsing rift stone. You can get collapsing rift stones at an extremely low chance from Corthia Rares, or by dragging Zolval's vault to Venari. And this is the preferred method because Zolval's vault has a guaranteed drop. Zolval's vault is a huge chest that spawns in several locations throughout the Beast Warrens. And once a day, you can drag it to Venari for the loot inside. So just run around trying to find this chest. While dragging the chest, you cannot use movement speed bonuses as if you get too far away from the chest, you will be stunned. Drag the chest all the way to that Beast Warren's bridge across the bridge into Venari. Then she will open the chest for you and you can loot it. Inside, there will be between one and two collapsing rift stones. Each collapsing rift stone has one use, so be careful before using one. Now that you know how to get inside the rift, you are prepared to go after this mount. The hand of Nilganimat is found in this cave where we took refuge on our first adventure into the Maw. It requires five rings to unlock, and these rings can be obtained in any order. The rings are Nilganimat's Stone Ring, Nilganimat's Signet Ring, Nilganimat's Runed Band, Nilganimat's Gold Band, and Nilganimat's Silver Ring. Let's see how to get them. Nilganimat's stone ring needs to be created by gathering four quartered ancient rings around Perdition Hold. Only one of these quartered ancient rings is unobtainable while not in a Necrolord Assault, since it requires an overcharged Centurion to obtain. So if there is no Necrolord Assault at the moment, feel free to obtain the three you can. The first quartered ancient ring can be attained from Mosh Sworn caches on top of the walls of Perdition Hold. You can get up here with the animated levitating chain that Venari sells for 1050 Stygia. You must be tentative or higher with Venari to purchase this. If there is a Necrolord Assault going on as you are attempting this, do not loot the chests just yet, because these chests do drop a second item you need, but you can only loot the item from these chests if you are inside an overcharged centurion. To get the overcharged centurion, a necrolord assault must be up. At the assault, go to Draka and tell her I'm ready to assist you. Then grab the quest Waiting in the Wings. Now go down the hill to turn in the quest and get the Putting a Plan Together quest from Milkanos. Run around collecting all the nuts and bolts and pick up the centurion parts and drag them to Milkanos. Complete the quest and now you will have access to the overcharged Centurion. Jump into the Centurion and run up to the Perdition Hold's walls, and you can now jump on top of them with the Pure Step Ascension. Now all you have to do is run along the walls and loot every chest you see while inside the Centurion. 
Some of these chests are well hidden, as you can jump even further up Perdition Hold onto these high spires. So be very thorough with your checking. Loot these chests until you get the defense map. This gives you a quest to destroy pylons with the Centurion. And the reward for completing the quest is the second Quartered Ancient Ring. For the third Quartered Ancient Ring, you will need to kill the Maw Mad Construct, which is an NPC that will randomly spawn in Perdition Hold once you have looted at least one Quartered Ancient Ring. What I did for this is just stayed in the middle of Perdition Hold and waited for the Maw Mad Construct to spawn. When this NPC does spawn, he will shout out my priceless throughout the land and you will know he is up. And he will say things as you attack him like, no, do not take my priceless and obvious Lord of the Rings reference here. Now the Maw Mad Construct will continue to run and not attack you back, so slows and stuns that you have will be helpful in killing this mob. Once you have killed it, just loot it and you will get another Quartered Ancient Ring. The final Quartered Ancient Ring can be found somewhere on the ground in Perdition Hold. There are many different spawn places, so I'll just tell you the coordinates and the location of where I found mine, which was right next to the double bridges hugging the walls of the spire. Here's a map with a bunch of coordinates on it where other people have reported finding the Quartered Ancient Ring. Just go around Perdition Hold, keeping an eye out for a small glowing rock. Once you have all four Quartered Ancient Rings, you just need to go to one of those Soul Steel Forges that are all over the place right outside of Venerius' safe zone. When you're at one, just go in your bags, right-click one of the Quartered Ancient Rings, and it will combine them into Nilgadamat's Stone Ring. Next is Nilgadamat's Signet Ring, which is also obtained in Perdition Hold. This ring drops off Exos, Herald of Domination. To get to him, you need the Domination's Calling item or a friend that has it or anybody in the zone that has it. Feel free to ask somebody to open it for you. Because the only way to get to Exos is to open a portal within Perdition Hold with the Domination's Calling item. Just ignore me getting attacked here, there was an assault going on, but you can just ignore it and take the portal, you don't have to kill these guys. Now to get the Domination's Calling item, you have to kill all three Heralds, which are those rares that you need four people to summon. And loot the Dominion Etching Pain, Dominion Etching Grief, and Dominion Etching Loss. Then combine them into the Domination's Calling item. Once the portal is up, go up to the top of the Spire and kill Exos and loot him for the ring. Nilgunamat's Rund Band can be attained by killing the rare Torglun, which can only be seen and attacked while in the rift. Try to have a collapsing rift stone available for this one, as getting here with a repaired rift key will be pretty difficult, and having to meet that timer is just a lot of unneeded stress for you. Torglun can be found here, which is the same place where that Forsworn rare spawns. Now if you come over here and he's not up, do not worry, there's an easy solution. Realm hopping. So just hop realms by joining random world boss groups for the world boss in the Maw, or other Maw groups that are forming like the Fallen Charger camp groups. Anything that's in the Maw, join it, and just cycle through until you see that Twerglun guy appear. Feel free to leave the group once you see him because when you're in the phase, you will be permanently there and you won't be kicked out of that phase. Now once you find him, be careful before you pull him because if you are not a tank or if you have low eye level gear, killing Torglun can be difficult. And if you die in the rift, you will be kicked out and then you have to figure out how to get back into the rift. So if you think you're not strong enough to solo him, I highly suggest forming a group to kill him. Once he is dead, just loot his body and pick up another ring for free. Nilgani Mutt's gold ban is a simple pickup, you just have to get there. Venari's chain is also useful here because you can just skip a lot of the scary part by chaining up to the area, but you will need to walk the rest of the way to the ring. This is the area you need to go to, and it is right next to the platform where the Herald of Laws can be spawned. Just do what I do here and you'll get to the top of the area in no time, 
and find this nice golden ring on a spike. Nilganimut's silver ring will probably take the longest to get, depending on RNGs. You may want to get a group together for this one as well, because it will make things a lot easier. Head over to the coordinates 6644, which is the top right of the Beast Warrens near the Sanctum of Domination Raid entrance, and sometimes a world boss. There are a ton of hostile mobs here that hit quite hard and even a few elites, which is why I suggest having a group. Within this area, there is a cage holding a chest with the final ring, but you need four keys to open it. You can get one key by killing Maldraxxi defectors. Just kill these as you make your way to the rare Yilva, a giant three-headed dog. If you don't see Yilva up, try looking in the group finder because there's a lot of people trying to kill this rare, and you can always realm hop to find it as well. However, I highly suggest you find a group for this as Yilva has a lot of HP, and can deal pretty heavy damage. As you need to kill Yilva to get Feeder's hand and key, then open the hand to get a second key. From Yilva, head down the stairs and to the left, and if you recognize this area, yeah, this is the area where we talked to that golden Valkyr. Go inside this building here, and at the very back of the building there will be a key ring on the wall next to Kel run. You cannot pick up this key while in combat, so kill everything that's on you first, and then you can loot it off the wall. The final key can be found in a Hellguard supply cache. I found mine at the coordinates on the screen here, 6156. Be aware there are multiple locations though. Here are some waypoints for other locations where players have found the Hellguard supply cache. Two of these are in caves. One of these is at 63.452, another one is in a cave with the entrance at 64.864, and the chest at 66.864.4, and another cave chest with the cave entrance at 66.956.3, and the chest at 65.659.4, and the last coordinate I have for you is 66.2 and 54.6. I will also put these coordinates in the description below so you can copy-paste them into your game. If you are having particular trouble with this chest, using a grommet from the trained grommet carrier can be useful because when it senses the chest nearby, it will glow and run towards it. Once you finally have all the keys, head over to 6657, as this is where the cage chest is. Click on the chest to unlock all the locks, and then you can loot Nilganimat's nice. silver ring. With all five rings finally in your bags, it is now time. Again, I suggest if you have a collapsing riftstone, you want to use it here. So just head to the cave at 2532 with a collapsing riftstone in your bag or someone with it in your party. If you do not have one, then you will have to run here all the way from Corthia. It is possible, but have fun dealing with all those mobs. Once you're at the cave, you can use the collapsing rift stone. Just make sure to use it somewhere safe where you will not be put into combat. And then go into the back of the cave and you'll see Nilganimat's hand just hanging out. Click on all the golden rings to place them onto the hand. And when you have placed all the rings, the hand will suddenly have a quest for you properly named Gotta Hand It To You. Accept this quest, turn it in, and you will have your hand of Nilganimat mount. 
Congratulations! You can now show off this beautiful golden hand mount like no other. And beat all of your friends in rock, paper, scissor competitions. I hope this guide has helped you out, and remember to leave a like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft content if it did. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just comment below. Or if you'd like to see other guides, feel free to leave suggestions for them below. Thanks for watching, and good luck getting your hand of Nilgadi Mott.